Tumble, there were two 60-minute matches tonight, but what are your thoughts on them as a whole? Um, well, we're into our third week of pre-season and you're just looking for progression each and every day, each and every week. And uh, I think you saw uh, tonight, we're just, well, I felt anyway, we're looking a little bit sharper. Um, you see players in different stages of pre-season come through. Uh, you know, I look at uh, Beardo tonight, look really, really sharp, you know, and uh, you, you, you'll find players have peaks and troughs over the course of pre-season. And it's all about, you know, getting getting peaking at the right time for the start of the season. And, and I feel as if we're we're going in the right direction. Unfortunately, you know, we've had our first sort of casualty tonight and uh, Powley, Daniel Powell, he's... Uh, I think he's got a slight uh, hamstring strain, but that's that's the only uh, downside. Other than that, we've all come through unscathed, and, and it's a case of a getting your fitness and b not getting injured along the way. As I've already previously mentioned, uh, it, it was two 60-minute matches tonight. But what was the thinking behind that? Um, well, it, as I say, it's a general progression. Um, you know, we, we've we've had two, two very hard weeks in terms of, uh, of uh, fitness work. And the lads have been starting off with 45 minutes, then 45 minutes, and now we're just upping it to 60 minutes. Uh, and not only that, it's an opportunity to, to have a look at some other players, some trialists who are on show tonight and, uh, and see what they can do. You also just mentioned the trialists there. What, what, what sort of uh, insight has tonight given you on them? Um, not a lot, really. Uh, you know, they're, they're on trial. I think um, y you can never get too carried away during pre season. You know, uh, and I think with 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 anyone who's on trial, uh, though, if you know if they do well over a period of games, a period of time, then then you know you, you, you might have a punt on them. But um, you know, it, it's it's difficult. And like I say, you can't judge too too much or read too much into preseason games. So tonight was only our, our fourth preseason game, but we've been we've been looking uh, quite good in both boxes at the minute, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, it's really encouraging. Uh, I thought. Uh, you know, Nicky Kabamba, uh, I believe that's his fourth goal in, in as many games. And, um, you know, it's nice to have him and he's, he's shown great energy, great enthusiasm. Uh, and I think that's the other thing as well, you know, w w what we've done uh, in terms of the recruitment, some really good lads and they all seem to be pulling in the right direction. So, yeah, um, it, essentially that's what the game's all about, isn't it? It's about what, what you're doing in both boxes. and. Uh, Although we conceded an absolute wonder goal tonight, we've uh, we've generally defended quite well, and we look threatening uh, in the other box as well, uh, offensively. So that's good. So speaking about recruitment, we obviously signed uh, Connor Smith today for, from Boreham Wood, um, and, and he scored the uh, the winner on his, on his debut this evening, and he deserves a special mention for that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, kind of experienced players had a lot of promotions. Um, if if people didn't know that already, but um, great experience. Uh, a leader, a good voice around the place, and a good character as well. So we're pleased to have him on board, and you know he's some somebody we've been, we've been trying to uh, get over the line for a while now. But yeah, a bit of indi individual. But, uh, I think he just saw an opportunity there, he took a quick free kick, and uh, and, he, and, he, and he scored whilst they were still organising. So, you know that that's what you get with Connor. You know he he, he can give you that as well. We've got a couple of days until our next preseason game against uh, Peter United at the Hive London. How's uh, how's preparation going to look like for that one? Uh, we don't, we're not actually preparing as such for games. We're still doing pre-season. So, so, you know, the emphasis, as always, is still on fitness. And, and you know, they'll be worked. Although we're having a day off tomorrow, they'll, you know, they'll be doing their normal work. Uh, and it's hard. It's it's hard, and and, and it's pre-season. It should be hard. So, you know, as I say, hopefully we can keep the players fit and healthy. But whilst you're you're working that hard. And, and to get to peak fitness, you know, you're always always on that borderline of uh, possibly getting injured, you know, and that, that, that goes with the turf. But, you know, if you try and uh, we're trying to look after them off the pitch as well, you know, make sure that they're, they're doing things right, they're, they're, they're doing the recoveries right and, uh, you know, um, all, all the stretches and the recovery we can give them. So, so you know, hopefully... Um, Everyone will be fit and well, albeit bar one player uh, for, for the Peterborough game. And nice to see the fans back uh, back out supporting the lads once again. Yeah, fantastic, you know. Uh, and, you know, they've they've come out uh, wherever we've been so far, you know. Uh, and it'll be nice to see them back at uh, 
back at the Hive on uh, on Saturday against Peterborough. So look forward to that. Uh, but it is lovely to see all the, all the all the faces again. Tom, well, thanks for your time this evening. Cheers, thank you.